Hi everyone. Welcome back to another Creating with the Creator. The verse that I picked for this entry is Daniel 3 verse 17 and 18. <clears throat> and it says, If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. So let's just take a quick look at what I am doing in the photo clip here. Um, I'm actually tracing on tracing paper. I have found that tracing paper is a decent alternative to using vellum, which is a bit more costly. You can get a whole pad full of tracing paper for pennies compared to what you would pay for a, a nice quality vellum. Um, so it's nice and thin and, and works well to not take up too much space in the in Bible, in your Bible. So I have, I spent some time designing my fonts and um, what I wanted this page to look like. So I'm focusing on the words, even if you don't. Um, and right now I am tracing out a cross for the T. Um, I thought it was pretty fitting um, because the story of Daniel and his three friends who are delivered from the furnace made me think of the cross and how Jesus had to go through that experience and die. He wasn't delivered from that from the cross. Um, and so he knows, he knows what we will go through because he's been through the worst of it. So um, just as I continue here, I'm erasing the lines and, and trying to glue it into the page, but I didn't want to have like heavy glue marks um, on the back side of my vellum. So I smeared the glue with my finger and I don't suggest this because I made a sticky mess all over my hands and the table and I've edited it out but I had to clean the table and get wet wipes out and clean my fingers and I even tore the cross. So there is a rip in it but I decided not to go back and cut out another one. So a little earlier um, I cut out these flowers that I'm putting directly on the page. I didn't want a watercolor today because you can see I have the, the Nebuchadnezzar statue on the back side and I didn't want to wreck that at all. So I'm doing very little on the actual page here, um, which is why I decided to add a whole sheet of vellum to do my work on. So there's no shadowing or bleed through or anything happening on the page behind. So I'm just thickening these lines up because I felt, felt that they weren't coming uh, across dark enough or clear enough when I put the vellum over, over the text. Um, now, in order to get it in, I think I'm about to do that. I put a line of adhesive just down that edge where I want it to attach and I'm sticking that sticky edge down deep into the crease of my Bible. So it takes me a couple attempts but I shove it down in there and then I close my Bible to get the adhesive to touch the paper and then it's in. Unfortunately, I did not Oh, measure correctly. I kind of forgot about how deep the crease was. So now I'm like two eighths of an inch off on the end and I'm trying to come up with a solution. I'm testing a few different washies that I might add on there and I eventually decide to cut an extra piece of that tracing paper to add to the end um, and, I, and I choose this here uh, washi tape with little gold hearts and attach that strip of tracing paper to it and then adhere that to the very edge. Right now you can see I'm trying to line it up just perfectly, my head gets in the way, um, to the edge there. So even I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> I ripped my cross and I cut my paper wrong, but this the page turns out just fine. I'm quite happy with it. You can't really see the line where the extra piece of tracing paper ends up. So now I just have to give it a quick trim because it hangs a little over the edge of the Bible here. <laughs> And then we're done with that step. So the next thing I believe that I do is grab out some sticker books and look for some words. So I have, even if you don't, obviously written, but I would like the second part um, of my phrase, which is, my hope is you alone. Now, I'm, I'm sure many of you have heard the song, Even If. I think I've been singing it all day, and it's what's inspired me to do this verse, um, or to illustrate this verse today. 
the song is very powerful. And so I'm looking for the word hope. And believe it or not, I actually find it in a color that matches. <laughs> and I stick it down. And I decided to, or I thought of just putting the word hope. Um, and then I didn't, wasn't sure. So I stuck it on the tab, which unfortunately is out of frame. And I decide against that. I decide, no, I am going to put that second phrase. So I actually print it out on my computer on some cream paper, cut it into tiny little strips and add the word, the words, my hope is you alone. Um, and I think I show you here that I'm, I'm attaching them with a zig fine liner. Um, it's a glue pen that literally allows you to write with glue it can get that small so it works for these great it works great for these little detailed pieces that have to go in um, the video has slowed down here a bit too i've realized so i'm not moving quite as quickly i had the first half of this video on times three speed so i that looked like i was flying but i was actually really taking my time <laughs> with the writing and, and the cutting and all of that so there's the glue pen that I mentioned um, and I was just showing you the fine line but that was hard to see so there you go uh, the next thing I'm going to do is flip through a sticker book to see if I can't find anything I might like to add to the page so while I flip through the sticker book I just want to take a second to reflect on this verse um, and the thoughts that came to me one of the thoughts was that Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego they're in this place where their lives are at stake and they have this incredible faith um, that that God is going to deliver them but even if he doesn't they are standing for him come what may and that is amazing but they didn't get there overnight they didn't have that faith just boom um, in that moment for the first time it was built because if you go back to the beginning of their time in Babylon and how they were asked to eat from the king's table and and they refused they stood for God there in a small thing um, and God was faithful and it built their faith for this moment and I think in my own life no I have not faced death the way they did but I have faced smaller battles and each time each time that we face these battles with faith, it builds us and strengthens us to the point where when we come to this kind of a moment, um, we can be rest assured that God has worked to help build us and, and develop our character to the point where we need to be. Um, I just want to thank you for joining me today and encourage you to take a little time to create with your creator.